What up everybody, welcome to another episode of Cannabis Lifestyle TV, it's your boy Trey here with you and today we're going to be giving you a short and sweet list of tips to know to harvest the best cannabis possible. Pause for effect. We've been meaning to drop this for you guys a couple of different ways, but we figured short and sweet is always the easiest. And eventually, when you've been harvesting your own cannabis, you'll just know what to do. But a lot of people don't. So first and foremost, I would say, and we've said it before, genetics. You need to know what strains you're flowering and how long they take to flower. They may look ready. They may smell ready. You may want them to be ready. But it's important to know, you know, is it an eight week strain? Is it a nine week strain? Is it 11 week strain? Key things you need to know in order to pull your cannabis at an optimum time. Secondly, trichomes. Everybody's like, what's that? And I'm like, you know, that frosty, fucking crystal, ooey gooey, sappy, the sticky icky? Those are trichomes. So, what? that applies in harvesting is you need to be watching those more than you're watching the bud swell, the bud size, the leaf really has nothing to do with if the plant is ready to be pulled. Um, it all comes down to those little bubbles on top of the plant. And those, a lot of times you'll hear people say need to be turning amber, if not already have a nice amber like complexion to them. If they are, clear if you can see straight through them to the leaf material it's not ready yet if they're turning milky they're almost there but they're not ready yet so just please pay attention to your plant first and foremost but the trichomes are going to let you know specifically for harvesting when your plant is ready to go so once you have confirmed that your trichomes are turning from that clear milky to that nice amber color the next thing that is i would say something that's missed a lot or, or maybe not communicated is flush your plants you know feed them straight water or some kind of finishing nutrient that just you know cleanses the plant and let them completely dry out don't have have them be ready for that next water or next feed but then cut them or uh, you know get ready to take them so just flushing your plants will make for better burning material better tasting uh, cannabis and medicine all around it just helps the final product which is what you spent all your time looking to do and come out with as the end result if you know your genetics and you've looked at your trichomes and you know that your plant is ready to go there are multiple ways that people will tell you what the next step is another beaten horse around here preference it's all about how you want to process your your cannabis your your method to your harvesting now certain people will put their plants in a dark room still rooted certain people will cut that plant and hang it other people will bag that plant um it's really across the board personally here at cltv i know a lot of us will uh apply some kind of dark room method um, let that plant know that it's dying, which will increase your trichomes, which will increase, which people believe will increase your potency. Um, I, I don't have any scientific evidence to tell you one way or the other, but I will say the dark, give it, you know, a good six hours in the dark after or before you actually go to pull this plant and you will be better off for it. Now, comes the trimming and the processing of the plant. I would say before you let it sit in the dark, just a less effort for you. Take off all the fan leaves, whether you're leaving it you know, in the pot or hanging it in the dark, however you're going about that. And then trimming. When it comes down to actually trimming your cannabis down to the little bag of peel nugs that we all know and love, it's really preference whether you want to trim it wet or trim it dry. Um, I would say a lot of history shows dry trimming is, you know, 
common. Uh, some people do it wet nowadays since it's becoming a little bit more popular. There's machines out there that can help you like the Triminator Mini Dry or the Triminator Wet or other automatic trimmers. If you're, you're, you're gonna need some kind of shear no matter what. So we would definitely plug and give all kudos to Diamond Cut Company. Uh, they make some excellent shears for defoliaging your plant or getting rid of all the fan leaves. Those really don't have any use whether you're drying it or trimming it dry or trimming it wet. Um, you know, if you want to save them, you can, but getting them off your plant just saves you a hell of a lot of time. Whether you are going to take down the whole plant wet or dry, you're going to have to dry your cannabis in order to enjoy it or process it unless you're doing other things with it in a live state. So it, when you're drying your cannabis, you're going to want to have about 50 to 60% humidity, or at least that's what we here at CLTB typically uh, find it at. And drying can be anywhere from, you know, four to seven days, depending on if you're drying it in nug form, just, you know, if you cut it off the branches or if you leave it in whole plant form. Um, it's really up to you. That's kind of the beauty of producing your own cannabis. If you're in a legal state and you're a card holder, or if you're in a recreational state and you're able to do so, it's a pretty rewarding feeling. Um, any anytime you put you know put anything into you know the earth or medium, and it produces something for you, I don't know. It just you either get it or you don't. So um, we wanted to put this together for you guys uh, kind of a breakdown of harvesting or at least how we harvest here at CLTV um, whether whether you're indoor or outdoor all these things apply so if you enjoyed this video and you're looking for more tips on how to grow or produce your own cannabis if you're already producing your own cannabis and you need some help click the link below to get in the know about the 420 growers club we appreciate the view we appreciate if you're a subscriber, if you're not a subscriber and you enjoyed this video, please go over and hit subscribe. Hit the bell next to subscribe. If you're digging the gear right here, click over to our website, CannabisLifestyleTV.com. We've got all kinds of content as well as a shop there for you guys to check out your stone and successful gear to show the world that cannabis doesn't make you unsuccessful. Stay lifted.